Good evening, everybody. This is Bruno Lavelle with Tough Daddy. And we're going to be going inside Dave's Pizza today and uh, trying some of their food out and see how delicious they are and uh, what the surface is like and what the inside of the building is like and all the things that we normally like to talk about for this way here. You, our family, who watch us have an idea of what the restaurant is like. So uh, with that, uh, we'll see you uh, when we get inside. Hi, this is Jordan Lavelle here with Tough Daddy, and we are at Dave's Pizza here in Fall River. We decided to come in and uh, get something to eat, and we just were got back from Tiverton, where we were doing some XUC wrestling stuff. And so if you want to check us out also with XUC wrestling, uh, be, be our guest. And so we're gonna order our food, and we'll get back to you um, and let you know how, how it is. And so far, I, as, you, uh, as Tough Daddy will uh, be showing, it's, it's a nice clean place. The service was quick. So we're looking forward to um, trying the food as soon as we get our food. So we got a small Hamburg uh, pizza, and we also got some jalapeno poppers to go with it. This is the beginning of our pizzeria series, and you just gotta take a look at this. Look at that, here's the jalapeno poppers. Looks like there's eight of them. Mm. Some nice marinara sauce. Look at that. Nice golden and crispy. Mm. Mm. Really good. Hot and delicious. Place is different. Some places use cheddar cheese, some of them use like the cottage cheese or even some kind of cream cheese. But this one's very really good. Very really simple. And this is the marinara sauce. Look at that. Looks like it's freshly made. Now, I've eaten here before. And I've always had a good food here. They have really good fish and chips, pastrami sandwiches. This is my first time being here. I've never been to this one. Though I've driven by it plenty of times, but I've never stopped there. I gotta say the customer service so far is thumbs up. This right here is really good. Yeah, we were hungry. We were coming out from Tiverton, where we had just done some wrestling, and we were hungry. And he thought that he said, "Hey, where do you want to go?" So I said, "Well, why don't we go to Dave's?" And look at that. How opinion to you flipping off my hand. That was really good. I don't know if you noticed, I tried it first without any marinara. Because I always like to get the flavor of the food itself first before putting any uh, sauce on it.
Popping and poppers are just the advertisers why they're out so quick. Pizza should be out shortly. So, I don't know if you know right away, huh? They were our advertiser. Now we're just waiting for the pizza. The pizza should be out shortly. So we'll be back with all of you once we have the pizza. All right, y'all, so the pizza just came and it looks delicious. I mean, you just gotta take a look. This is a hamburger pizza. And I can't wait to sink my teeth into it, and I know Ronan can't either. As you see, we got a nice pizza. Oh, yeah. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. And the cheese just springs right off it like you want. Look at that crust. Nice, good crust to it. You can just take a look at that. Very good pizza. And what's nice about this crust, it's got a nice little crunch to it, but it's not odd. And the way the old classic pizzas used to be made. Some pizzas today, they have a very soft crust. And this has a really good flavor. Well, oh. I, it's not overcooked, which means it's not um, like tough. I mean, it has a good crunch to it. The sauce has a good flavor. The cheese. And I mean, the hamburger just all blends and works well together. And the sauce is very important, especially for a pizza. Mm. You can have a pizza sauce that's just too sweet and it just doesn't taste right. But this, this is nice. You also don't want a pizza that's too saucy or not saucy enough. I mean, this is actually just perfect. Mm. Most spaghetti sauces, they add a little bit of sugar to get rid of the, the acidity, maybe a little bit of the bitterness of the, the tomato sauce. But you never want that to be overpowering. And that's why, you know, in, in this case, it's just right. Mm, look at that for Nice, beautiful golden crust. A little charm. I mean, it's just the way I like it. Places like this is like Top Daddy was saying. Drive by them probably often. You never stop there because you know, for whatever reason. 
but there's a big surprise waiting you if you do. places have and other foods that are also just as good and delicious as their hot dogs that they're known for. And with this pizza series, pizzeria series, it's going to be the same thing. I'll show you, you know, one, the pizza, because it is a pizzeria series, but also some of the other items, like we just had an appetizer, you know, the jalapenos, or maybe, uh, We'll get to doing like a, a pasta dish or something from them. Something else many of them are also known for. But sometimes in places like this store, like I just mentioned, hot dog places, the other really good food that they have go unnoticed. Sad because the other items are just as delicious and should be presented to the world and for everybody to know. But people are usually creatures of habit, so they go in and always order the same thing over and over again. We have people like Ron and I who don't mind being guinea pigs for people. Exactly. All right, all of our food lovers, our food critics, our foodies, we just got out of the day's pizzeria, and as you saw, the food was outstanding. The pizza, I just can't get over it. It's hard to find a good pizza today. I mean, at a lot of places, the crusts and, and stuff, it's either like soggy or it's overcooked and it's like chewing on cardboard, but this pizza was just right. I mean, the crusts was amazing it had good flavor the crust it had you know a nice crunch to it yep uh, the sauce was delicious the cheese that they use the blend of cheese and also the hamburger on top of it i mean everything just blended so well together worked so well and i mean those jalapeno poppers with, with the cheddar cheese inside like i said when we were on the inside you know it's hard you know, even with jalapeno poppers, it's hard to find uh, not only real ones, but nice, juicy ones, too. I mean, this thing, I mean, we had jalapeno popper juices running down our hands. And, I mean, some places put you use either, like, a cream cheese. Some use, like, a cottage cheese. Some use uh, a cheddar cheese, even, like Day's Pizzeria did. And I mean, those things had a nice crunch to it, a nice flavor. And, and a nice piece of a jalapeno. Yeah. And the mozzarella sauce that they give to you, you could tell was fresh. We made, and I mean, that was just absolutely delicious. Also had good flavor. And I mean, all in all, I definitely enjoyed Dave's. Again, it was my first time there. The customer service was outstanding. They kept coming to us asking us if we needed anything else um asking us how the food was so i mean and the lady who was doing the cooking uh she was attentive to us because she, she said soon as i notice that you are about on your last life i'm gonna make the sandwich that you asked for 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 tough daddy's wife so it'd be nice and hot and fresh for her to when he gets at home and sure enough, after we got done eating our pizza, I went up to give her um, a nice picture, signed autograph of Tough Daddy and myself and saying thank you for, you know, we really enjoyed the food here. And uh, she, ha she handed me the sandwich because it just came out, just came out. 
So that goes to show you the attentiveness of uh, the, the, the people that work there. And she put that uh, photo that, as all of you, the viewers, our family know, uh, a lot of places that we give it to, uh, that we enjoy eating at and enjoy the food from. Um, many of these places put it up right away and she did the exact same thing. She put it right up on, uh, on her wall in the back. Uh, where the customers can see meaning by behind the registers so um, Yeah, so it was a, a very uh, pleasant experience uh, I've been there before uh, This was tough daddy's first time, but it was a very pleasant experience for him and on uh, If you go Google them, it says 4.2 stars, but the food there was good the jalapeno poppers were good. The The service was good. And, you know. And the establishment was clean. The yep. pizza was delicious. And so, with that, we give our five stars. Uh, you know, when you go to a place and you can sit down and relax. And uh, you, you're served. And you got great service, and you got people, uh, the great food. It, it makes it for a very uh, nice evening. And so, with that, that's what we had tonight. But don't forget to. With all of that said, you know, again, we want to thank everybody for who are always tuning in and watching all of our episodes. Also, too, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the YouTube channel so far. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be the first that is notified when a video like this one comes out. Also, keep sharing the videos. Make sure to smash that like. And don't forget, Food Lover Review Show is now on both Facebook and Instagram. Also, thank you to everybody who follows us as well on, on all social medias from YouTube to the Instagram and Facebook. Um, and don't forget, we also have a merch site. So make sure to head on over to the merch store. Get yourself something really cool today or a family and loved one. And the link will be down in the description below and also right at the end of this video. And until then, we'll see all of you on the next review.